Hi Gabriel, I wanted to ask if you'd have any advice or tips for people who want to learn two languages at the same time. Thank you. Well, 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 two languages at the same time. That's something I do somewhat often, I guess too often sometimes. And I think that the most important thing is to not get overwhelmed. If we bite more than we can chew and we start getting overwhelmed in either language, then it's just a shame because we're probably going to get discouraged and eventually give up. Personally, what I try to do is just uh, have one main language that I'm primarily focusing on and then one second language that I'm putting maybe 30% of my time into and the main language about 70% of my time. Uh, that way I'm getting great progress in that first language, right, that I'm primarily focusing on. But I'm still progressing enough in that second language. What else? I like to color code everything as well. So perhaps, let's say that if I were to, to learn Spanish and Italian at the same time, what I would do is just maybe keep everything in Italian just green, all my notes, and everything in Spanish in red, perhaps. That's especially useful if the two languages that you're learning are similar. Otherwise, it's going to be really easy to make a lot of confusion, and that's not good. Um, but if the two languages that you're learning are really far apart, let's say Chinese and Italian, chances are you're not going to be really mixing them up. So if your first language is English, which and it sounds like it is, let's say that you're trying to learn Chinese and Spanish. I'd recommend that you put a bit more effort first into Spanish just so that you can get a basis, get some good progress because it's closer to English, especially if those are the two first languages that you're learning, and then focus a bit more on Chinese. Although Chinese is, of course, a bit more challenging for um, Anglophones or for people whose first language is English anyway. Some polyglots think it's a terrible idea to learn two languages at the same time. I personally don't mind. I, I, I'm guilty of it. I do it. I try to tackle a, a couple languages at a time. Uh, personally, I think that there's nothing wrong with it as long as you're progressing enough in both of them. I find it really nice to have just the, that one main language that you're focusing on and then the secondary one. And then sometimes as you progress more in one of them, you can actually switch and make the, uh, the second one your, your main one. So for example, let's say that, uh, that I'm learning Russian and Japanese. Let's say that the language that I'm putting most effort in right now is Russian. So let's say that 70% of my time or 80% of the time that I'm studying a language, I'm studying Russian. And the rest of the time, I'm focusing on Japanese. So let's say that I make a lot of progress in Russian. Once I feel that I have progressed enough in Russian, what I can do is essentially switch. Start putting more effort into Japanese, and then put Russian a bit in the background. I think that that can be really successful. But the most important, remember, is to not get overwhelmed. If you're feeling overwhelmed, maybe just start focusing entirely on just one language at a time. So you can progress more and then come back to trying to juggle both of them later. So I hope this helps and good luck learning two languages at the same time.